Welcome to the Atmel Crypto Authentication Training, Chapter 4, Session Key Exchange. Getting started. Session Key Exchange is used when you want to encrypt a message so no one can listen in. To do that, an encryption algorithm such as AES is applied to the message using an encryption key. This tutorial will show you how to use the Atmel ATSHA-204 crypto authentication device to change the key for each encryption decryption session. You can now see where the name session key comes from. In this example, we have two systems, with one being the encrypting side on the left and the other on the right being the decrypting side. Of course, these can be reversed. Each side has an AT SHA-204 and a micro. To encrypt the data, we will create a unique session key. That is done by hashing the secret key stored on the AT SHA-204 with a random number. The result of a hash or the digest, of a key and a message is called a MAC, which stands for Message Authentication Code. The MAC here becomes the session key that the MCU will now use to encrypt the data with the AES algorithm. One minor point to note is that the output of the SHA-256 algorithm is 32 bytes long, or 256 bits. Only half of that 16 bytes are in fact needed and used by the AES algorithm for encryption and decryption. Once encrypted by the MCU, the encrypted data is sent to the other side to be decrypted. The random number is also sent for the purpose of recreating the session key on the other side. This is done by hashing the random number with a secret key stored on the decryption side. Remember that since this is a symmetric process, the keys are exactly the same on both sides. The MAC of the secret key and random number becomes the decryption session key that the decryption side MCU uses to decrypt the data. And that's it. The same process can be run again and or in the other direction. Each time the session key will be different. Note that the ATSHA-204s make this process very easy by securely storing the secret keys so no one can get to them. Generating the random number and running the SHA-256 hash algorithms. Because Atmel does all the crypto engineering there is no need to be a crypto expert. Atmel has you covered.